SureDog.com here with Cody Gibson. A 38-second stoppage of Johnny Bedford in the first round at UFC Fight Night in San Antonio. Let's just get right into it. We're talking a little bit off camera. You're not really sure about the stoppage. The on the, Looking on the internet, you know, a lot of people aren't happy with it, Dana White included. But what was going through your mind as you drop him and you follow him down to the canvas? Uh, I just saw his, the, his eyes rolling the, in the back of his head, you know. And then the ref kind of halfway jumped in. And so I'm staring at the referee, and then I'm like, should I hit this guy again? Or he, like, stepped in and then stepped out, the ref. So I wasn't sure. I'm kind of mad at myself that I didn't just pounce and keep hitting until he, you know, he pulled me off like a, a dog, you know. But uh, I don't like it being questionable. If they want, if the UFC feels that it needs to be done again, then I'll sign right now and let's do it again. And I'm not afraid of fighting Johnny Bedford. I, I wasn't before tonight. I won't be after tonight. Hit me with a good body shot right off the bat, you know. Sometimes, if you've seen my fights, I, it takes me a minute or two to get punched. I have to get punched a couple times to wake me up so uh you know i let him hit me a couple times no i didn't let him but he hit me a couple times and then uh i got i never knocked anyone out that was my first knockout where i saw a guy's eyes roll in the back of his head so that was a cool experience you know and yeah we'll see well walk us through that you look like you clipped him with the right hook on the temple just uh what did you see what kind of opening did you see right there uh, yeah, well, he hit me with a couple good body shots right off the bat, and I got backed into the fence, and then I saw he was coming with that knee. He was pretty telegraphed, and I was kind of hunched over a little bit, so I just kept my hands up to block the knee, obviously, and then I knew that once he threw that knee, that was his explosive move he was going to hit. I was coming forward, and I just threw a right hand and, and hit him right over the head, and, and then he went out, so, yeah. That's, that would seem like a justifiable stoppage just in terms of fighter safety. Put yourself in the other position. If you feel like you're going, if you're out and then you hit the canvas and wake you up, can you argue that it was a justifiable stoppage? Well, I mean, as a, the bottom line is the referee put his hand in. I stop, look at the referee, and then he puts his hand in again. You know, I'm told to stop if the referee stops the fight. And to me, he stopped the fight as soon as he hit. And so if the ref hadn't done that, then he, he would have had a, a case, you know. But he did go out. I don't care if he says he didn't go out. I saw his eyes, you know. But I don't like winning like this, you know. Let's do it again. All right, whatever, whatever's next. I'm just excited to get my first UFC win and, and, and move forward. Is it? Is